Galloway's support through sight loss. Hi everyone, it's Andrew from Galloway's and uh, this new video is all about Orcam. This afternoon I'm joined by Nigel Crook who is sales for Orcam and we're going to be having a look at Orcam. If you've never used Orcam before, never experienced it, um, this video will be quite useful for you. And for those of you that have already got an Orcam, there are some new software update or updates available that bring you enhancements to the technology. Um, so, hi Nigel and welcome. Hello, lovely to be here. Thank you very much indeed, Andrew. No problem. So just to tell everyone a little bit about Orcam, Nigel. Well, rather than um, telling you about Orcam, can I let the Orcam tell its own tale? Um, <laughs> the, uh, the little device uh, is a small camera and it magnetically fits onto um, a bracket that you put onto your glasses and to make it work I'll read our literature and it can tell you exactly what it will do. Okay. If I point at the literature For blind and partially sighted people an artificial vision device with a lightweight smart camera that instantly reads text aloud from any surface and recognises faces, products and money notes in real time all packed into a tiny device the size of your finger. Read text, reads any printed or digital text, newspapers, books, restaurant menus, signs, product labels, computer and smartphone screens. All become accessible to you in an instant. Recognize faces, real time recognition of faces, identify products, credit cards, money notes and more. Great in social situations and gives it... Thank you. That's the Orcam in practice, reading from our literature and telling you a little bit about it. This is the um, camera end, and you can see the cameras in the middle. You can just about see the cameras in the middle. And either side, top and bottom, there are two little LED lights. Now, those LED lights work automatically. So if, if you're in a darkened room, then those lights will automatically come on so that when the camera takes a snap of uh, any text, then the lights will just flash on for those particular time. Just moving to the side of the device, this is the outside of the device. Um, we can see that the, there's a little blue light there, and that little blue light it comes on when, uh, when the device is actually on and working. And then there's a slide bar here, and that's the slide bar for turning the volume up and turning the volume down. It's like a touch sensitive area. Indeed, yes. I suppose for those people that use like a smartphone or a tablet, it's a similar type of thing, isn't it really? You it's it's, it's very in. similar. You just swipe your finger volume along. Next. And if I swipe volume down. So very okay. simple. And to tap it, I just tap it in the middle of the bar. And that puts it into voice recognition mode. Okay. Okay. Now, to go down to the other end, this is where the uh, charger is connected, and the charger fits onto this magnetic pluglet here, and it magnetically flicks on so that there's no having to push a, uh, a plug into a socket and get it the right way around. It, it just naturally magnetically goes on. Um, just at the back, just here, there's the little speaker, and that, that little speaker is the one that throws the sound when you're not using Bluetooth um, into your ear. And then just going to the back of the device here, um, we can see that there is, um, just there is the on off switch that will turn the device um, on and it will turn it off and put it into suspend mode if you want. And there are two little dots here. These two little dots are the magnets and those are the magnets that fit onto the bracket that so we put the onto the glasses. So the magnets are kind of in, right in the centre of the yeah. of the camera. The, I mean, and the, the button as well is quite tactile, so you can feel a little kind of raised bump. To it is. It is slightly it. raised. Uh, with some people, if needs be, then we can put a little bump on it to uh, to, to help people locate it. But in fairness, it's automatic. Um, the device itself after three minutes of it not being used, it will go into what we call suspend mode. That's into its battery saving mode. Um, and to wake it up, all you do is you just tap it on the outside and that will wake it up. The Orcam will um, read text to you from any surface. So um, it's going to be able to read your own private letters. It can read, um, for example, 
a, a ready meal to tell you what it is and it can read the cooking instructions on the back as well so it can give you that kind of information um, could even just read a book which is uh, which is qu quite a good idea um, but it, the idea is that it will give people independence uh, a little bit of privacy and the ability to carry on their lives as uh, they have done in the past just simply being able to read the TV times and find out what's on at nine o'clock at night is uh, an extraordinary thing that the OrCam can help you with. The advantage as well, obviously, with OrCam is the fact that it is very, very easy to use. And, you know, it's wearable technology and that's where, where we are at the moment. Wearable technology is the in thing. The fact that you can wear this almost like a pair of glasses, um, with the with the camera on the side it's barely noticeable as well so it fits into everybody's everyday life doesn't it very easily oh absolutely and um, one of the great things about the orcam is that it's hands-free so that um, if you're going around doing your shopping or sitting down reading a book or anything then the device is attached to your glasses you've got your hands free and just by the simple gestures you can make it work and just as an example if i want to know the time all I need to do is to look at my wrist. The time is 3.23pm. As if I'm PM. looking at a, at a watch, and it will read that. And hang on a minute, there's no watch there, is there? There is no, no watch. No, there is there no really watch is there. That, that, no, there's just a hairs <laughs> and a couple of spots. Um, but but it, it is purely the gesture. So if it's reading, for example, if I start it reading, I, I point at the text. It sees my finger pointing at the text, and it will start For reading. blind and partially sighted people. An artificial vision device with a lightweight smart and to stop camera it reading, that instantly I simply read. put my hand out to say stop and it will automatically stop it. Okay, so we've got a brand new software update for the OrCam which has brought a lot more connectivity and convenience to using the OrCam including I believe some audio uh, voice commands as well and, uh, and also Bluetooth capability, is that right? Indeed we have. Um, we've had some very exciting updates come through. We had um, one at the back end of last year in, um, in late November and one just recently. Um, we've started with Bluetooth connectivity and we're actually using that at this moment now. Hello, we have a speaker. We have a speaker <laughs> and we're using the speaker to, um, to transmit the sound so that everybody uh, watching the video can, can hear it. Um, but actually you can, with the Bluetooth connectivity, you can attach um, either earphones or even better, a bone conduction headset. Um, and what that does is that it makes it absolutely silent to anybody else except yourself. We've also introduced voice commands and the, the voice commands at the moment allow you to very easily get into the setup menu, which has always been quite difficult and always quite a mystery to people, I think, going into setup menus. But there's some very simple things that you can do. If I double tap it, I say speak faster. Rate up. And I can do it again. Speak faster. Rate up. And you can hear that it's getting faster and faster. Now if I make it read now. For blind and partially sighted people. An artificial vision device with a lightweight smart camera that instantly reads text. One of the things on top of that with the, uh, the, the, the latest um, updates that have come through, there's a, a lovely melody to the speech now, which, uh, which makes it a lot more listenable to, if you like, if there is such a word, um, that it is sounding more like somebody speaking to you. Um, with, with the gaps and the voice going on. And I think it's important to note that OrCam has come an awful long way since the you know the very first OrCam, the very first generation of OrCam. We've gone from you know having a device with a wire to a control unit now to uh, a device which is so lightweight. It's got all that technology built in. Uh, there's no wires anymore that you know you have to wear you know um, in your clothes and then into your pocket. It's all very lightweight to, and, and easy to carry around now. So that now is kind of the time to, if you're interested in OrCam, now is, is probably the best time to look at um, inv investing in the technology if it's something for you. Oh, absolutely. I think I think now that we've, uh, we have we have it as an all-in-one unit, um, it, it, it is 
very much easier to use. You can walk around with it hanging around your neck and just pop it onto your glasses when you want to use it. Um, we have got some um, battery support packs that come with it as well so that if you do use the battery up while you're doing your shopping or you're out in the library or something like that uh, you can very quickly plug the, uh, the device um, into the battery charger and it only takes half an hour to go from zero charge to 100% charge. By all means uh, contact us through Andrew, through Galloway's. Um, you may, if you're interested or in further information wish to look at our website which is orcam.com and there's some various videos of uh, people using the orcam um, in in situations there also it's quite a good idea just to have a quick look at some of the tutorials there are 14 or 15 tutorials there now which show you how to use the various functions but what we do do andrew is um if somebody does have an all cam delivered to them. We don't send it out in the post. We do recommend that you have it delivered by one of our all cam trainers and they will come round and spend some time with you just going through the various features, even simple things like how to charge the device and where you're going to keep the battery charger to reading a book, reading your letters. It's a very personal service. Yeah, I mean it's a very personal service, isn't it as well? Indeed. It's making sure, you know, people are able to use the device and, and, and I think being upfront and honest with people whether it's going to be the right device for them or not as well. Oh absolutely um, and and really to support that um, we do do a 30 day money back um, guarantee with the device as well so that following delivery and, um, and training if you find it's not for you then um, we will gladly take the device back. Okay, well, thanks very much, Nigel, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Lovely. Thanks very much indeed. Cheers. Shake hands with you. <laughs> um, that was the that was the Orcam. What a brilliant piece of technology. Um, if you want to find out more about the Orcam, give us a call on 01772 744148. You can also contact us on our Facebook page as well. If you search for Galloway's Society for the Blind on Facebook. You can find us there. And we also have a Galloway's Technology Group, which is Galloway's Technology Group, if you search for that in Facebook. You can email myself, andrew.coleman, at galloways.org.uk. And you can also find us on YouTube as well, if you search for Galloway's Talking Tech. Um, plenty more information down in the description on the video. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a like, give it a thumbs up, share the video as much as you can, and make sure you subscribe to get the latest content from Galloway's Talking Tech. Well, that's it for now, guys. Thanks very much for tuning in, and I'll see you soon. Galloway's, support through sight loss.